Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and this is a review on the e.l.f. high definition under eye satin powder and if you'd like to hear more about my experience and take on this product please keep on watching so I purchased this with um, from eyesupsface.com um, it's the e.l.f. high definition under eye satin powder and it came in a black box it's from the studio line and it came with a little brush but I took out the brush and I misplaced it because I they're not I'm not using the product with the brush so this is the packaging it comes in looks very similar to a gel liner size um, in terms of shape and size packaging wise it's very very similar and it says that it's in sheer if you, if you can see it also says that this product lasts for 12 months so you have 12 months as a shelf life of this product so you open it and that's how the inside of the cup looks and this is how the product looks. Now it came with a sifter that I've already taken, I'm um, not sifter, a seal for the sifter that I've already taken out. So this is what the product looks like. It comes pretty full so you do get a full, um, well not a full job because all of this is extra packaging. It's just this hollow piece that's in somewhere here that goes to the top. So whatever size container is inside here, you get it pretty full because when you lift that sifter, it can be a mess. This reminds me so much of the e.l.f. high definition satin powder, the silicone one, um, that you know how messy it is. This reminds me so much because look at the condition of my cup. It is messy. So a lot of times when I'm opening the product for use, I have to be tapping, holding it, blowing around because if I don't want it to get on my work clothes or anything like that or any of my clothes that I'm currently wearing. So this is how the product looks like and what it does is it says that it sets your under eye powder so if you're like me and you use concealer on the eye to hide dark circles they use this to set it so that um some powders claim that when you use it it actually cakes up on the eye because um how heavy they are so this is like a fine mill powder to help to set your eyes without looking cakey another thing with this is that it's pink undertoned so that if you use a uh, say a colored um, powder like say brown or tan whatever your complexion is you're adding um, you're just more or less concealing it and covering it just like the regular part of your skin and you're not necessarily correcting because they always advise you that for under eye circles or darkness that you correct it by using a pink toned um, concealer powder etc so this is pink tone in nature and I will show you this is how the product looks on my finger and swatched is this is what it looks swatched it's all blended out so my finger and please i'm not flipping you guys now i don't know if the light is, go is gonna catch this and i will try to take a photo and put it on instagram as i'm not so much updating my blog but with all that this was said just now this powder does not work well for me um, just for two reasons one is very one is a personal preference and the other is just It just maybe and I'm playing around with it to me to see if, my, if I'm using it wrong But the first thing which is my personal preference and on this is that this comes with like glitters uh, I don't know if you were able to see it when I was showing it to you, but it comes with chunky kind of glitters some of them are milled fine others are a bit chunky that you see it when I do apply it under my eye to conceal, I get glitters all over my face, falling. So I'm trying to swipe it off and I generally put on my um, foundation first and then my eyeshadow. So sometimes people can think, oh, her eyeshadow is spilling her face. Really and truly, it's just from my under eye conceal, um, satin powder. And I apply it with one of the e.l.f. blending brushes. I also have a blending brush from Coastal Sense that I interchange. And I dip it in here. I swirl it in my cap after and then I apply pat it in a bit and then just blend it out and of course with that the glitter moves all over the place so I'm not sure if my application is wrong so if you guys are watching this and you think that my application is wrong leave a comment below I'm open up to suggestions and help and as to how to use this so the glitter is a problem for me the other thing that I don't like about it is that um, I don't find it does anything 
to me it does not help correct anything it does not brighten which i think maybe the glitters are there to help i don't know how that's gonna really help except make it shimmery but it's supposed to have brighten the pink on the tone is not even helping at all either so this does not do anything better than my rice powder what my rice powder would do or my any other satin powder so i don't know if it's just mine that's faulty or what or if because i know i saw a couple of reviews and everybody you know a lot of people had so it was more or less positive than negative but that's just my take and my feelings on it i would use it out try and use it out because i did purchase it um what i try to do is when i sold it i may tap it a bit to see if they just allow the glitter to, to fall i don't know if you can see the glitter all on my arm i don't think you may be able to but it's, it's a lot of glitter that's there that's remaining and there's glitter that's around here also just from this so it has a lot maybe it had a little less glitter it would have been a little more user friendly for me i just don't like lots of glittery shimmery stuff so if you like glitters and stuff there it will definitely give you glitters and so on your face etc um i was actually even thinking of using this like if i'm going out at night to put on my neck as a nice shimmer and stuff just to um, use it up and get you know get my money's worth out of it would i repurchase this no in my ratings i would definitely give this maybe a 2.5 out of 5 just because it can help to set um to set it does not wrinkle oh i forgot to tell you it does not cake up under my eye that's the only thing i noticed it does not cake up it actually settles um very well i can say that it does not show up fine lines and wrinkles because i do have some fine lines and some wrinkles but i don't find that it accentuates it but again it doesn't hide it um that's what my concealer tries to do so i would say that it does help with um keeping this area nice and matte without looking too caked up but the color oh the packaging is also a little too messy I'm not gonna repurchase this so if you've used this product please leave a comment below and share your take if you think that i'm using it wrong any suggestions as to how i can get get better use out of this product how it can help me even better feel free to leave a comment comment below with that um, suggestion or you can tweet me on twitter it's sweet s w e e t z r and you can follow me on instagram it's Rowana v it, just share whatever your experience is with me or you can inbox me and let me know thank you so much for watching hope this review for, was helpful for anyone who is thinking about purchasing it um this product and look out for more reviews coming soon from me so have a blessed day bye bye everyone